All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad. I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. All right, this one going to be a little different. It's a, just an open form. I really didn't meditate on any topic. I was watching videos, catching up with the brothers. And prophecy goes on. All right. Uh, what's coming to mind is Micah. So I'm going to just get it. Micah 2 and 10. Scriptures say, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right, so it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. So this is not our rest. All right, we're not in a, a, a time, a society, where we're supposed to be living it up, filling, you know, filling ourselves with carnal things, you know. To be pleasant, to be uh, pleasured in the flesh, getting wrapped up in the world, because the Lord said this is not our rest. Okay, this was a prison sentence that Yahweh put us through for our disobedience. Okay, you know, basically worshiping false gods, you know, turned unto idols, and as as a people, the Lord dispersed us from out of Israel and scattered us through the four corners of the earth. And uh, a good chapter to, if you knew in this truth, to actually read is Baruch and the Apocrypha, the fourth chapter. You know, and you will understand that it was the Most High that put us through this captivity that we're in now. So as the scriptures say, arise ye and depart. Now, did that depart mean take a plane and leave from where you at? It's not talking that, it's talking about your mind. All right, because remember, scriptures say, uh, John the Baptist, he he came to do what? To uh, show the Lord's elect the way of repentance. All right, because Yahweh Shai was coming on the scene. So he was a forerunner to Yahweh Shai's ministry. Yahweh Shai came not to destroy, not to, you know, destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill and to fulfill what? Prophecy. So we come in like minded of John the Baptist, you know, telling you to do what? Repent. All right. So it says, uh, oh, let me let me say as well. The uh, the true repentance is the renewing of the mind and being washed by the word. OK, the renewing of the mind. OK, and being washed by this word. Okay, not being dipped in sink water and, you know, believing you've been baptized like these Christianity churches teach you or they show you. That's not the true baptism of the word. Okay, the renewing of the mind is the changing uh, your mind, you know, converting into righteousness, putting away the old and end with the new, becoming that new creature in your Bashim Yahushai. Meaning you know you're you're gonna separate yourself from the wickedness and things that are wrong. Alright, so and the word is scriptures. Okay, law, statutes, commandments, righteous acts, our holy days, you know, the way we man ourselves. So it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. What's that? Hebrews, the fourth chapter, where the Lord he gets into the rest about that rest represents salvation. It says, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. So this world under Esau and his society or wherever you at in the world, okay, heathens are ruling. And in their society, in this society, it shall do what? It is polluted. Meaning the false philosophies, the tradition of men, uh, their Christianity, you know, their unrighteous decrees, it is polluted. If something is polluted, okay, you got to know that it's going to destroy you. If you drink 
contaminated water, it's going to destroy you. Why would you want to drink from contaminated water when you can drink from the water of the river or let's say the stream which flows, as the Lord said, all right, flowing with living waters where well, you should never thirst again. And that's truly the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's that alkaline. Do you want to drink dirty, filthy water or alkaline water? You know, and just thinking about it, you see Jake, when you go shopping, you go to the supermarket, they in their ignorance. You know, they buy a bunch of Poland Spring water, you know, all this water that's in the supermarket, all these different name brands, and none of it is alkaline, excuse me. None of it is alkaline. It's just tap water. You're paying for tap water. You know, none of it has minerals in it. Water's supposed to have minerals. So it replenishes the body. All right. And for those in the knowing, brothers who are mindful, okay, on their healthy journey, taking care of themselves. And if you can afford it, brothers go do what? They get alkaline water with a certain pH pH level of nine. All right, I forgot the average pH. I believe it's supposed to be over seven. And I think that's balanced middle. But anything below, I think, don't quote me on it, you can look it up. But I know a nine is uh, highly alkaline and on a pH level. So would you rather drink water that that's gonna basically run through you and give you no nourishment? Or would you rather drink water that's going to nourish you to where you thirst no more? All right. And that's comparing the ways of this world compared to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sore destruction. You know, the scriptures say they shall wax worse. So the more time and time goes on in this God forsaken world of Esau, all right, people are going to just wax worse. You know, me going back to my high school days, excuse me, me going back to my high school days, there was a certain mannerism everybody used to have, used to carry themselves in because it was the music was different. You know, you had uh, the, the clothes, the, the, the uh, fashion was different. It was more. You know, people had a little, little more dignity compared to today, man. All right. Certain people who was, you know, was a mo, you know, they got rebuked, man. Okay. Nobody tolerated that type of behavior. Okay. They wasn't acceptable to that type of behavior. You know, now today, everybody is accepting the behavior of being a mo, you know, or a transformer. And I'm using those two things as an example, you know? So as time goes on, people are gonna do what? Wax worse, they're gonna be what? Destroyed. It says, even with the sore destruction. So just wanna look up the word sore real quick and see what it gives. It says, uh, to be or make sick. You see, to be or make sick. Over time, you get sick, you know, not just sick as far as the health wise, but sick mentally. You know, now everyone today has some sort of mental illness. You know, when you justify wickedness, that's a sign of mental illness, you know. You know, I uh, believe, you know, before this COVID pandemic, scandemic came, you had a lot of these rappers and um, podcasts, you know, men who were coming out, this was about last year, I think, it was like a wave of it where everybody kept talking about, you know, getting treated for mental illness. You know, that's a lot that goes on with, with the black community. Charlemagne was a forerunner for that on that breakfast club, you know? And, um, you know, now, like I said, to be or make sick, you know, also physically, you get sick in this world because the foods are bad. All right, the foods are GMOs, genetically modified. All right, you're really not even eating food anymore. You're eating processed food, food with uh, chemicals and um, highly uh, hormones, uh, high hormone, uh, if I'm saying that right, 
uh, with uh, parm moles and spiced jeans, man. Okay, things that are not even supposed to be in, um, in one cell, I should say. So it says to be or make sick, to be grievous or painful, to make sick. All right, so you dying before the time in which you can possibly live in this world. You know, because Esau has an agenda on depopulation. And that's what it's all about. Depopulation, downsizing the population so that they can control it, you know, in their fashion, you know. So that word sore means to be or make sick, to be grievous or painful, to make sick. Okay, so, you know. Matter of, uh, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Okay, let me get one more scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 52. And, uh, and uh, verse 1, it says, Awake, awake, put on thou strength, O Zion. Put on thou beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. The holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into, into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. All right, so it says, awake, awake. So meaning wake up, okay? Put on thou strength, O Zion, which is Israel, you know? Put on thou beautiful garments, which is the word, O Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people before a place. It says, the holy city. Who is that holy city? You Israelites. Well, today, starting with the elect, it says, For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and unclean. All right? Philosophies, traditions of men, all right? Christianity, you know, anything that's dealing with um, the adversary. No more will come unto thee. No, no more of the uncircumcised and the unclean. Because why? When the most, when Yahweh Shai return, he's going to activate that new covenant. All right? We're not in a new covenant right now. All right, we haven't even got to that point yet. When Yahweh Shai come with healing in his wings and change our bodies and bring the kingdom, all right, as it is in heaven, is on earth, okay, and the glory and our dominion, then we, we will be in a new covenant. It says, verse 2 Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captivity, daughter of Zion. So you have to shake yourself from the wickedness, man, from the dust. You know, it's making me think of Ezekiel when uh, the Lord spoke to Ezekiel and he blew his breath upon the dry bones, you know, and they woke up. They came together. All right. They stood upon their feet. So you have to shake yourself from the grave, you know, and this word is for the elect because you know that the two thirds not going to get it. You know, you got to shake yourself from your dead ways. So it says and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captivity, daughter of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, ye were so ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Okay? So we're gonna be redeemed without money. We were put in slavery through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and we're gonna be redeemed out of slavery by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, so that's it. You know, I, I, like I said, it was an open forum. I really didn't have a topic meditating on certain scriptures. Lord willing, I hope this lesson will be edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.